Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Monday. So very happy to be here on this afternoon. Gonna be kicking things off with some Spelunky 2 here. I think today's our day to get our 799 victory on Aaron. You know, or not, but uh, we're gonna have some fun playing Spelunky 2 regardless. Uh, let me get this penguin in hand, then we'll get caught up with Fimular in chat. Your wonderful support was up, Imptala. Grimrock fan, good to see you. Dukowski, Wizard Punch. So there, Wings Guard. Good to see ya. Wizard Punch, Ancient Stealth Tag, Synth and Lasers, Casually Challenge. The Pojo Dan, K Mod 9, Dan. And all the other cool early people. Hey there, Kazune, Partial X Ray, Melody Bunny. Poison Drake. Yo, before we kick off here too, Wizard Punch, thanks for 54 consecutive months. Half century and climbing, my dude. Here we go. Penguin in the hole. Hey there, Strange. Up, Creo. Penguin to the moon. All right, Penguin 180, turn around, chair, sit down. Here we go. Yeah, we made the chair. Missed the Penguin. Fair enough. Let's try this from the correct spot. Go we'll start at the chair. Okay. I don't agree. There we go. That's why we warm up right there. Here we go. Hey there, Roostin. It's good. Got a good feeling about Lunky today. I don't know what it is, but here we are. Lunky. Get out of here, you ridiculous mole. Interesting. 1-1 one, one turkey? This runs blessed, dude. One one Turkso? Sign me up. Got a little juggling to do here. Hamter out of here. Your voice echoes in here indeed. Okay, we see the key. That's good. Shrine right here. Let's just drop the turkey off right now. Oh, is that the dwelling up there? It is, isn't it? No, that's not going to be the dwelling uh, area. Hold on a second. Got to sort this out and take a look here. Okay, that wasn't it. There's two. I'm just going to use a rope here. I've got to see this. Okay, this is not the dwelling. Here's this. Huh. It's a very interestingly placed trap. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. So I'm not going to mess around with the shrine here because I, I need to get the key in. If I can come back up with the damsel, great. If not, that's fine too. Um... Okay, I take it back. Okay, yellow cape. Get this mole in here. There's got to be one more mole I can get over here. Right? Right?
All right, Kapala get at two minutes as well. We got plenty of time. Just got to figure out where the uh, dwelling area is. Can do. Make a tertiary check over here. It's not there. Okay, I see a store. Having to be very thorough here to make sure we're not missing the uh, dwelling area. Okay, 224. That's tough. All right, bomb store. Really hoping it's on the bottom level here, because if not, I missed it. Ow. I think I got lucky with the iframes here. Gotta be over here. There it is. 54. This isn't it? Oh my god. Where be? Oh, it is right here. Okay. Well, this is going to be tricky, but definitely possible. That was a crazy one, too. Crazy. Alas, we lived. Oh, no. Turkey punch. All right. Well, I guess with pace, we're going to be um, robbing Turkey Town, then. this fan right now. Absolutely going to be taping that fan this weekend. Among other projects. Uh, also, uh, another call for if you guys have any video game music you'd like added to our playlist for games such as Slices, Slice and Dice, you can drop suggestions in the Discord. Uh, already going to be over doubling the playlist this weekend, but open to more suggestions too. Okay, well, we're not going to be robbing Turkey Town here, and that's fine. That's fine. Honestly, a little torn here if I want to go uh, jungle or volcano. A little bit leaning towards jungle, but volcano with paste uh, gives me some good outs. Got a lot of, a lot of stuff we can do. Uh, looking for uh, downloadable music since uh, not going to be using Spotify. So band camps are fine, uh, Steam links to soundtracks, etc. Going volcano. Also, such a strong preference for uh, music without uh, vocals as well, for obvious reasons.
the Amaro and uh, the Slice and Dice is really good. We'll definitely be playing more of that. I just wasn't uh, mentally up for it today. It's been a, a busy, busy week for me. Ooh, okay, hold on. Where's the entrance to this? I see it. Spring shoes are a big deal here. Okay, well, let's see it again. So from here and then down one and over? We'll see. Oh, that's a lot of lava, dude. Okay, hold on. Da -da 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 -da. Just checking. Just checking. Ooh, that was scary. Okay, so here is the entrance to tons, but it's also right next to lava, which is kind of gross. Uh, what I'd like to do is bomb right here. I might lose my key here. There's no way I'm not getting the spring shoe. All right. Okay, there's the prison as well. Uh, I think my play might actually be to go back across the other side. No, this isn't too drippy. This is fine. This is fine. Whoa, no, dude. Okay, that did not make Van angry. That's impressive. More patient than me, bud. Somebody lets off a big-ass bomb in my house. I'm getting pretty cheese. Yeah, he's seen worse. That's probably true. That's probably true. That was a big bomb for sure. Those can appear on the chest sometimes. Not not a common factor, but it does happen. Okay, there's going to be an item right here. I can tell because there's skulls. Looking. Hey there, pepperoni men's. All right, let's do this. All right, shrine here is cool. This supposedly voice echoes then? I gotta make sure the drill's not over here. Okay, there's no drill on this level. Fair enough. I will just be moving along then. Okay, this is gonna be the drill level. I'm semi-tempted at 25 bombs here just to bomb through, and I think I'm gonna do exactly that. Let's just bomb down. We died to the drill yesterday, even. Looking good. Oh, don't boom. That's a nice chain reaction right there. No? Hey, what's up, Neil Hamilton? Enjoy that lurk, dude. Ooh, 
Nice. That was pretty sweet, dude. Only uh, eight bombs there. It's pretty good. It'd be uh, pretty awesome if... Ooh, there's a store here. Okay, bombs and ropes. Don't mind if I do. Especially those ropes. Sounds good. It'd be awesome if we get to 99 health here. If not, that's all right as well. Also, even nicer, I don't require help at this moment. Okay, no vampires so far. Glamo. Okay, there's one vampire right here. Any other cool vampire guys? Okay, there's one. And two down here. Okay, cool. Looking good. Oh, yeah. That. Okay, well, he's done. He's cool. Gonna get these stacked up properly. There we go. The juice is loose. No. better positioning this time. Should go a little faster. I was about a fourth of a tile back too far last time. Better. What? Okay, I'm missing my inputs here. It's my fault. Actually, really surprised that recovered. Three eleven, we're in plenty of time here. He's helping. Oh man, that's so true, Synth. The Splunky HD bomb, like a little blood droplet touched them. They exploded. The uh, crates in Splunky 2 are much more forgiving. Right. Hey there, Sharks fan. Good afternoon. Silent image. Thank you for 112 months. Eight more for a decade? My man. Thanks, you legend. We're going to normalize kill here. Okay, he clipped that top lock, so I need to go over to the wall here. I'm 
give him the classic wall method. No mods currently for Spelunky 2 uh, installed. I may install a couple, um, or try out a couple uh, once I complete this 20 character set challenge. Definitely going to do randomizer at some point in the future. Past that, we'll see. Alright, this one's definitely going to go to the uh, tide pool. I almost walked into that bomb. Close. All right, there's the dams. If Dams gives me green gloves, I'd be ecstatic. If not, still a pretty good looking run here. Shotgun, that's not green gloves. Not quite. Hey, yellow cape. Bombs. Spring shoes, well, shoe for the other foot, anyways. And crossbow. Alright, with no green glove, I need to uh, remember to pick up the Yushabadi inside of Neobab. No, no skip here unless we get the glove in hand. Ooh, is he gonna get stabbed? No, he doesn't get stabbed there? That's weird. No shrine here. How about on this side? Alright, this is not a shrine level. Got it. Interesting. I like snapped his claw, but he still got it. Fair. I need to clean this up before, uh... Ugh! Grab right there, by the way. Okay, there's that. Oh! Do I need whip then? Fair. I'm going to try to carry the clone gun and the sword with us. If I don't get to keep the sword, that's fine. We'll just trade some whips.
Are you gonna come down here, bud? What the hell? It's crazy, dude. All right, what's in the present, you think? Compass, right on. Hey, dude, can you stop? Okay, just knock it off. Take a nap. We're gonna find a nice little spot for you to chill over here, maybe. This actually looks pretty good for chilling. Yeah, we can get him locked in here. Cool. That's one dangerous fish, man. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to take the clone gun in here with me. We've got a pretty good skip going on. That is, I'm not too worried about messing this up. Oh, nice. Doors right here. Beautiful. Hey, good to see you as well, Credenza. What's happening? All right, sir. Let me clean up here, and then we'll we'll get to honoring you and all the help you've given us. Alright, sir. Kneel down. Time for you to receive the highest honor a helping hand can receive. I dub thee, sir. Help! He helped me once today. It was awesome, but once is plenty. Later, Tater. Smiling clay bat. Smiling clay bat. Smiling white urn with a bat on it. I think, I think Waddler's right here. Oh, yeah. Go pick up the uh, spike shoes here in the Yeti Cave and the six ropes for that matter. Bonk. So slippery. Been blobs it. Can't believe I got that on the first try. That's a crazy jump. Ooh, dice. Okay. Dice is good.
and machete. All right, here we go. Hmm. Okay, definitely weird in here. Weird level, dude. Uh, Cyan, I do. I use back whip almost exclusively on UFOs, but the truth is, there's no safe way to whip UFOs all the time. It's it's always a, a risk you're gonna incur because if you're not uh, perfectly placed on the position, it can be bad. That's the truth of it. But by back whipping, you at least guarantee the direction they're gonna go. I want to move this ghost turn out of the side. There's a lot of UFOs flying around. You're looking for a smiling clay bat, but I'm going to double check that because I'm just one dude with a wet noodle in my head. Smiling clay bat. That's the one. Looking for a smiling white urn with a bat on it. There it is right there. How do you do? Like a big elevator here. Yeah, the further you get in, the less likely it is you're going to find things like Green Glove, because there's just less stores. That's a good, good way to put it. Is true. Not having Green Glove's not that big of a deal. It just means that I need to have uh, Chi Lin here to, to get all the way up top. All right, this is pretty nasty. I'm going to use a bomb here, right here. Pretty rude. I'm also going to leave Chilin here for a minute. Let's uh, clear for a second. Yes, I hear you, Poochie. I hear you. Legend of Squeakerman. You can also find gloves in the crust or in a crate. Now, that's pretty unlikely. Looking good. Here's to hoping that the uh, sun challenge is on 7-1. Oh, what a good Winston. What a good day. He's having a good day right now. Hanging out in mom's lap. That's nice. What a good old kitty man. Alright, here's to hoping that the sun challenge is here so I can get 99 bombs and ropes. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Okay, we're going to do a very quick um, thing here. Is the exit really just right here? Okay. Oh. This level's very easy to get everything done on. Sometimes the entrance to Waddle or the challenge and the exit are very far from each other and then using bombs and ropes is very valuable. Here, very easy. Bloop. Thank you. 
looking good. Let's just leave this right here. We'll load the bow in a sec. That was great. That's the result you want from 7-1. Now, it's more likely than not the sun challenge is on 7-1. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> yeah, Dammer guy had a similar experience. Indeed. Might as well uh, get these crates here. This. Could have been a uh, glove, was my thought. For some reason, my brain was really expecting this to be the, uh, the hunt done climb. Because brains work kind of good sometimes. Dang humanitis indeed. Hey there, Magline. Glad you could make it today. Oh no. Thought I shot Percy there. Yeah, that was probably it. That's probably it, uh for sure. The the way the tubes were constructed really felt like the start of a hunt climb. That's a good call. Um, okay, hold on. A bit of a weird in here. Certainly not a bad configuration, but kind of yuckers. Oh my god, stop it. just gonna uh, be sticky bombing one of the heads here. That's the plan. Nice. Give him the old chomperoni, bud. Here we are, Cosmic Ocean. Well, there's an orb right there. All right, let's see. There's the exit. Whoa, buddy. Calm down there, partner. Later, Tater. I'm going to bomb this right here. That gets us into our exit, at least. Also going to go in here and use one more bomb because reasons. 
That's actually pretty tough. Pop it like that. That was a really awkward orb. Really awkward. Okay, so the area I haven't seen now is like right here by the exit somewhere. In here? Yeah. Called it. I'll just use an additional bomb here, because I can. The opening level, let's just not take a bunch of chances. That was a really uh, nasty opener. Okay, that's pretty easy to get back to. It's also a very nice last orb here. Just gonna leave that there. All right, there's one. Um, let's bomb in from here. It's one. See it. Two. Later, Tater. Yeah, okay, how do I get to my exit from here, though? Okay, so it's a little bit higher up than I was imagining. Right here. Uh, there is no prediction for this run, Baba Yaga. close, dude. Let's cut in across here. Okay, that's going to be the exit down here. Let's clean this up, and then we'll find the remaining orbs. Blah, blah, blah. Bomb here. Hopefully it doesn't release the uh, lava. Okay, did not. Hmm, I'm gonna rope here. That's what I thought. Two, one bomb for one crate all day. Oh, all right, that's fair. I will just use one more bomb then. That UFO sequence was uh, quite hinky. So that's probably the last orb we want to hit. Actually, that's even nicer. Alright, excuse me, sir. Fun police. You're having an unusual amount of fun over there. Please stop. Do 
Itchy eye. Ooh, this segment right here is gross. I am going to bomb this. Very untrustworthy. Okay, exit's like right there. Hmm. Very well. That's an easy bomb for me. Easy bomb. So that kind of level is the spot where you get in trouble when you have low resource count. When it's like, do I want to use a bomb here or not really? And then you try to figure out a way and something bad happens. Yeah, that was an ambush squad there. You're not joking. I saw an orb up left here. Yeah, it's right there. Let's just bomb through. This level has a very cavernous feel to it. Wow, double arrow trap. Shlorp. Now you're shlorping and gorping. Well, I don't know where the exit is from here. I want to figure that out before I pop this orb. The Sunken Temple especially is a level I do not enjoy being in a scramble to the exit for because uh, those poison arrow traps are here. When I say scramble, I'm referring to not knowing what the exit looks like when popping the last orb. It can definitely get weird fast. Bonk. Bonk. You've been bippity bop. Okay, uh, here's the exit. It's got a mech on it. Robot. I don't think that's orb three yet. I gotta find one more here. Yeah. Oh, scary. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. 
Yikes. Triple Witch Doctor Man Trap exit. Fair enough. Let's clean this up a little bit, huh? Didn't kill him? Okay. You know best game. I kind of want to leave this one for last. It's near the exit, not on the exit. Also, I'd like to take out this Witch Doctor. I'm going to do so with a, uh, a bomb here. Okay, I missed. I missed again. I'm just being stubborn at this point. There we go. Six times the charm. Got him. Not the orb. It's one. That's the orb I was leaving. Okay, good. Um, there it is. Okay. Let me just make sure I'm seeing the exit correctly. I kind of lost track of where we were at. Okay, we're good. Uh, what's one more bomb in the grand scheme of things here? Resources are definitely use them or lose them in Spelunky. I would say uh, that was not my most efficient level. It's okay with me. I survived. Kind of a nasty exit with this uh, stabber right there. Bloop. Okay, pretty easy to get to. Not a big level. Got the double bubble right here. Dubsle bubsles. Later, Tater. Hear explosions. Gonna leave my head low here for a second. Bonk. That's what happens when you have too much fun, sir. That situation right there is exactly why the fun police exist. Let's get our peepers on the exit. There it is. See, that guy's having an okay amount of fun. Acceptable. Here's the exit in a very peculiar spot. Okay, there's also quad... quad lads over here. This needs to get sorted out. Pretty big level. Okay, I'm going to cut in here. Oh, this is a real one. There's two. I see three down here. I know where the exit is, kind of. 
Yeah, okay. So we're going to cut back over here. And we're going to drop down. We know there's two spark traps on the side. Gotta be very careful of that. And we can cut in here. Got him. It's a lot of explosions, man. Oh. Okay. Okay, hold on a minute. No, stand up! <laughs> oh, dude, that was tough. But fair, but fair. That UFO got me good. Okay, I gotta make my way back to the ceiling now. GG. Fair enough. We done got dunked. That'll happen. Alright guys, short break for me. It's gonna stand up stretch real fast, use the restroom, grab some water, encourage you to do the same. We'll be back in a few minutes for some more fun. There will also be some kitters appearing here in just a minute. Uh, catch ya in just a moment for another run of Spelunky 2.
Alrighty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. I think we're going to hop into uh, a run or two of Slice and Dice now. I'm ready. Let me get the playlist going here. We're going to be expanding our playlist a lot this weekend. If you have any suggestions uh, for music, you can uh, put them in our Discord. We'll be populating the playlist a little bit further here. Well, it's already pretty robust. Okay. Let's load it up. I'm going to swap the uh, title as well. Okay. All right, definitely need to slow my play down. I tried one hard mode run uh, yesterday. Got to slow, slow down a little bit uh, for trying hard mode. Here we go. Okay, uh, what's Monster Pristine? Monster Pristine adds two times if they have full HP. That's pretty tough. At the end of every second turn, two damage to all allies. Minus one reroll or plus one spell cost. Some pretty nasty curses. I kind of feel like pristine's the easiest to uh, to manage because if we can hit the enemies, but for range enemies, not so much. I'll go for a minus one reroll here for simplification's sake, though I think that's a pretty major concession. It's at least the simplest choice, I'm sure, on that. Okay, so let's see what kind of dice we have here on Squire. We have Shield 2 Focus. Two times if the target has previously used dice this turn. Okay. Two damage. Mana, mana. I'm going to take this and this. Here we have Mend here. Set a hero to 3 HP. Player. Right, we only get one reroll. Okay, well. I'm going to go heal three and then block here for four. Hit the crone for two. I don't have any real incentive not to... Uh, or to spend my mana this turn. This gets me to Flare, which kills the Crone, so I'm going to take both of these. Word. I mean, probably taking Scrapper here, though a statue this early could influence um, what item picks we take. I think losing uh, damage and shielding this early, though, for a statue is a bit tough. Twenty HP, though. Let's try statue again. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's a semi-random pool, Surinok, and then they they evolve in a very randomized way. There's a lot of different classes in the game. Okay, well, two damage is right. Uh, two mana is right.
Ouch. It's a rough opener. Okay, well, I think I was going to leave the fighter rather damaged here. I'm going to try to save up for Flare, because if I can take out the wolf next turn, that'd be awesome. Okay, so we have Flare. If I can also kill the rat, that would be nice. Does healer have any damage possibility? No. So I, I need to get an attack roll on the fighter next time to not have the fighter die. Fair enough. Um, I suppose a heal three could also be a uh, semi-saving. Okay, we got it here. So we're going to load up four mana. We're going to flare the wolf. Then we're going to hit the rat and the goblin will flee. Replace middle side with heal five. Swap left and s left side with the middle side. Uh, I'm guessing the pendulum would need other modifiers. So we'll just take big heart for now because that gives our uh, statue at least an ability they can use. That was a rough roll. What does Thorn have? On hit, hit the attacker for five, and they're also spell immune. Okay, pretty good reroll though. You know, one benefit I just realized of statues, it can make um, it can make enemies run away because we have so much more HP. So I believe the correct choice here is we'll kill one of the rats. We'll kill this rat. And then after we kill on the next turn, should be not so bad. All right, no healing yet. No point in bursting here either. I'll just take the mana and hold it. A statue has no uh, abilities, but it has 20 HP, which is like four times as much as most of the enemies here. Okay, might as well take that. And that too. Yeah, I believe that the thorn will run here if I just kill the rat. Yep. Ninja, I have not seen ninja yet. Two damage, double use. One damage copy. I copies the keywords from last used dice face this turn. Okay. Let's ninja it up. Unfortunately, the copycat's not very good right now. That is a yoinks roll right there. I gotta hit alpha first. Okay, not, not doing any summons. That's nice. Okay, well, yes, I want the two mana. Two damage as well sounds nice. Is this the two damage used twice? It is. Oh, I also have Flare here, so I think I can get the Wolf or the Alpha down. 
Got two, four, six, eleven damage. So not quite, but definitely on the next turn we'll be able to kill it. Let's heal the healer. Load up flare here. Okay, good timing here. We're going to kill off the the alpha before they're able to summon another wolf. Okay, healer with the heal 3 sounds good. Let's take a roll here. Okay, that was dangerous. I actually could have got locked into not killing the alpha. Should have locked this as well. Cool TP nils. Um, definitely been enjoying this game. It's a good one. Okay, let's take the mana here. Nobody's dying. Then we'll save our mana for next turn. If we get one mana roll, we can flare the wolf down. Okay, twin daggers. Replace the top and bottom sides with one damage cantrip. Okay, well, we're definitely going to take twin daggers here so that the statue can have even more abilities. Not bad. It'd be better if we had more rerolls, but still good, because the statue can now have an effect. I think I'm going to take the two mana here. Oh, actually, I can take out the goblin this round. I think I should do that. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to lock these two in. Normally, I'd be rolling again on the statue, but I feel like this is good. Because certainly taking out one of the two enemies we're facing is beneficial. Okay, we'll load up the mana. Um, so, Ogre, when we get to the... We get here, it increases the damage, so all of the one damage here will become two. I think still we want to do the three damage we have on board this turn. So we're two mana away from Flare, which would be a kill. There it is, the two mana we wanted. Ammo. Oh, that's cool, uh, Relar Engage. I missed that. Uh, Relar points out that the ninja is able to copy Cantrip. Very nice. All right, Druid or Caldera? Two damage to all damaged enemies. That's pretty sick. What's the cost? Three cost. One damage to all enemies, heal one all allies, also pretty sweet. I kind of like taking Druid here. Yeah, let's take Druid. Druid's extremely versatile. Yo, it did copy the cantrip. Awesome. Okay, uh, Bandit reads that it flees if adjacent monster is overkilled by two or more. Barrel reads five damage to adjacent allies on death. So, 
If I can get the snake down to three and then explode the barrel, this bandit's gonna flee. It's unlikely we're able to overkill the barrel to the point where the bandit would flee. The only way I can see that happening is if I damage the snake twice and then flare the barrel. That would completely clear the board. But as it stands right now, if I just lock in these dice, I can, um... Get these three off, because I would hit the snake for two. And then these would take out the barrel. Snake would be overkilled by two and die. Bandit would run away, leaving only one bandit. So I think I lock this stuff in, and then roll the fighter. Alright, so we're going to hit the snake for two. We're going to burst the barrel and then tap it. Oh, that did get them both. Oh, okay, so when the barrel died, the snake became the adjacent enemy to both of the bandits. Understood. All right, lead boots cannot be re-rolled plus one to all sides. Bowl, revert all changes to all sides. What does revert changes refer to? Anybody know? I'm kind of liking cannot be re-rolled uh, on the mage here. Okay, you can counter a bad item. Gotcha. Or I can go for two times random. Let's take the two random tier twos here. Replace the three right sides with gain one reroll cantrip blank blank. Plus one to all incoming healing. Well, I think that... That is somewhat adequate. I don't know about Big Heart now. Let's give the fighter the Garnet. God, sorry, I didn't have time to mute there. Yoinks but doinks. Okay, what is this? Weekend 2 is coming in. So this is Weekend 2 here. Um, I think I just gotta go for a reroll. Okay. This can be used twice. Okay, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. We can stun the Cyclops this turn and stop the stomp from happening. Let's do that. Yes, this is from the End of the Breach soundtrack, indeed. I could also remove the quartz this round. I think getting the Cyclops removed, though, is better, because this is only hitting for two and doing weaken, which is annoying, but not that detrimental. And then we'll tap him for one here. Oh, he's also weakening the statues, so that's great. Okay, well that's six damage. I gotta take that. Alright. 
Oh. Is this cleanse? I see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just kill off the, uh, the quartz here. It's not exactly a clean kill, but it stops the mage from dying, which is priority. Oh, hey. Thank you. Let's start that over again. So we're gonna cleanse the statue. We're gonna do one damage here, and then two damage here. Cleanse is a mechanic I'm not fully realized yet. Alright, I just need three damage. There it is. That'll do. Two and two more. Thanks, McQueen. They'll be very helpful. Cheers. Alright, I'm going to take Fiend again here. I unlock a new character class for taking Fiend a second time. Friend pick H. Let's see who his skills are again. Okay, he has Pain, but good mana gain. One damage to all heroes and monsters. Cooldown. Cooldown's once per turn. Okay. Okay, well, I believe two mana is correct to take here. Two damage plus self heal. Eh. Let's roll. All oh, right, this summons a slimer, not the slime queen. Definitely my opinion that trying to kill off the Slime Queen as quickly as possible is best. Yo, Calbar53, thank you so much for 95 months. LED fan, thanks for 101. Dr. Pineapple Boy, thanks for 113 as well. Thank you. All right, well, Ninja can dodge to save his life. Uh, if I block and do balance, that would be a save, at least. Not not super keen on this, uh, this round. Okay, hold on. Instead of dodging, I can also heal the ninja here. Let's not take dodge. Let's take these two, and then roll again. Nice. That was definitely an improvement. Okay, the only thing I don't want to do this turn, I don't want to use this ability before using the copycat. Okay, here we go. Okay, if the Slime Queen goes down here, we're actually fine. Okay, so let's start with that. Everybody's alive. I think uh, heal one for all sounds very nice here. One, it doesn't summon any new slimes, and it's kind of a stabilizing effect. Yo, Annihilate, thanks for 98 months. Thank you. Okay, well, Fiend dies if he uses this, so it's probably not going to work. Two mana, though. I'm in on that. That's nice. Okay, who's this hitting? Fiend. Okay, it's not hitting Fiend. I think Fiend might just die here. Well, maybe not.
Okay, let's take the two mana. Let's do damage one to all, heal all. Before I do that, I should hit the Slimer first to summon the Slimelet. Okay, summoned. I'm gonna finish with balance, and then we can block on the Fiend. Umbra's alive for now, cool. That was nice. Okay, two mana allows us to balance again. That's pretty good. Okay, who's hitting the ninja? Slimer's hitting the ninja. So if we don't get four damage here, he's dying. Uh, this one's hitting Druid. That's fine. roll again. Okay, that didn't work out the way I wanted. That's all right. The only character that's dying here is dodging. Let's go here. We'll do the uh, heal and damage again, and then we'll kill... No, we'll just hit the Slimer. This sets us up for lethal next round with Burn. There's not a permanent downside to losing a character, no, but they only spawn with half health at the start of the next round. Okay, that's the kill right there. Get a roasted. Get a roasted. Patient two times if you didn't use the hero last turn. Keep unused shields. Let's take the four times tier zero here. Face the left side with shield five pain. Ooh, okay, that's good. Two max HP, minus one all sides. Hand trip activates during rolling. Okay, add... Okay, cantrip death. Tier zero is pretty bad. Peanut shell must be equipped. All right, so we have to equip peanut shell. Uh, we'll just put that on uh, fighter, I guess. Okay, um... Yeah, they all seem pretty bad. This uh, shield five is actually okay on the statue, though. I think I'm just going to have to take that. Now I know that tier zeros aren't really worth taking. Fair enough. Yo, more 1337. Thanks for 70 months, dude. Thank you. All right, well, two mana is not going to be wrong. Uh, who's hitting the fighter here? The sniper, yeah. Well, no sense in not hitting the bones here. Okay, we have a pretty decent play here. I'm going to go for uh, the two mana. I'm going to go ahead and hit this bones twice. And then I'm going to do balance. Which will heal the fighter up above the death threshold. 
Oh, that'll kill the sniper, right, because the bones did one damage, and I also did one damage there. Two mana pain looks okay. I'm gonna roll here again. Yeah. Oh, we got the kill here. Oh no, Daisy's way too warm in the window, guys. My cat is baking right now. Little bacaroni kitty right here. I don't think I've used Collector yet. Let's look at this. Got Exert. So he's got a bunch of different skills from different uh, classes. Let's try Collector. That sounds awesome. No pristine tag here, right? Nope. Let's see that here. Okay. Can definitely take out one of the quartzes this turn with burn. I can take out both quartz this round, I think. And the way I do that is we're going to uh, damage, damage, or sorry, damage, damage, and then we do a two damage hit here, burst on this one, and then we do the burn effect. We'll take out both quartz. It's not going to kill anybody either. It's really fortunate here that the uh, fanatic's attacking the statue. I also think I'm going to fish for one more reroll here on these two. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. You know, I'm just going to lock this in because if the, uh, uh, the hit happens on the courts, we still get the kill. Watch out, I'm waffling. Okay, here we go. So we're going to hit. I'm going to hit. This is focus, so double damage on the last used target. We're going to go here. We're going to burst the quartz. I'm going to load up this three mana. I guess I could also go for balance, but I think taking one self damage here is not the end of the world. Because the fiend's no longer being attacked by the quartz, so I'm going to withhold this mana for next turn. Now let's hit the lower health fanatic here. Well, whether I use burst this turn or next turn, the fanatic's gonna die to burst, so I might as well hold my mana. Okay, he's attacking the statue. Again, very fortunate. Just need one damage here. I guess I have that no matter what. That was the exact same here, uh, Horns fan. That's how we killed the Quartz's last round. All right, that's uh, game then. dog two times if you have more HP than the target remove all keywords from the middle row random tier four is six 
you know, removing um, pain from these mana gains on the Fiend is actually pretty nice. We do lose the cantrip mana, but I think the upside there is even better, since we have all positives. Self-heal. No pain. Could also be removing exert here, but I think the other ones are probably not worth dropping. Yeah, I'm going to take Blindfold and put it on Fiend. Yeah, seems like Blindfold could be nice uh, later on, too. I agree. I agree. Uh, let's see here. I like the idea of hitting for two range on the Spiker. Do I have anybody that can do four damage to the... Uh, the zombie. I don't. So we're not going to be getting a a one shot here. In that sense, I should probably try to take out the zombie as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's take this though, because I roll cleave. That's real bad. Definitely worried about the collector living here. He might just be dead this round. try. Okay. I don't think I can save him. Let's see, that's two, four, six, seven. Oh, wait, I can kill the zombie here. No, not quite. That's 10 HP, not, not eight. Okay, well... Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to use growth, uh, and then use this so it grows to two. Yeah, we can block here and get a two shield. That's how we do it. I almost always use that spell offensively instead. Two damage, three damage cleave. Okay, the zombies gotta go this time. Two, this is three. Okay. Let's take the mana. So that brings me to three, so I can do three damage. I'm semi-tempted just to lock in the duplicate here. I think I will to make sure the zombie goes down. That keeps everybody alive. No keyword here. All right, so duplicate's not super effective in that case. Just go here. Oh, the ninja gets an extra pip there too, right? I think I'm gonna go for the uh, the three hit here. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> Let me back this up real quick.
Oh, okay. I'm gonna make this uh, the hit with the leader. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, they really have it out for my collector here. I think I might just need to sack the collector. How much damage is Spiker doing here? On hit, hit the attacker for two. All right. Uh, this copycat with focus could be really nice. This is a lot of damage. I think I'm willing to say that no matter what I do, the collector is going to die this round, so I might as well just try to uh, get as much damage out as possible. Lens two. Yeah, I'll roll again. One more. All right. Yeah, collector is dead here. So we're going to go ahead and hit here. We're going to use focus so it does bonus damage. And then we're going to use focus on this so it does four damage. Yeah, I'm racking my brain there. I don't believe that I could save Collector under any circumstances there. Okay, uh, the Blindfold is really nice with Ghast, or Ghast here because I can get the 5 mana without dying. Stun is also pretty good. Don't have much other shield generation. I think steel's bad. Let's go ahead and take the uh, this. Oh, harvest is amazing as well. Okay, so now we're gonna re-equip the blindfold on gas. We're gonna remove the death tags. Let's just straight up plus five mana. That's cool. Let's put the garnet on collector for now. I also think I'm going to give the ninja the five heal, so that could be very good. Oh man, he's doing summon to bones opening round. That's tough. Okay, two mana, yes. Duplicate, it's tempting, but I'm gonna roll again. Okay, well. That is a tough opening round. We're gonna hit here and then we're gonna harvest. Let's just open with a burst. Big ouch. Uh, I'll take the focus. Wow, that was pretty fortunate, man. I didn't lock in the mana? I thought I did. Okay, we're going to do two here. We're going to do two here again. I'm going to harvest. I'm having an idea here. Well... 
I want to get the focus damage, but I'm also seeing the benefit to doing this a little differently. Okay, we'll start here. Then hit here. Yeah, I'm not going to get Harvest out and also get the focus properly. So I think this is going to be a one damage hit. We can set up focus for next round with that. I'll just hit this bones to weaken. Oh, hey, focus will work here. There it is. And let's go ahead and just hit here as well with the burst. That turn ended up being a lot nicer than I was expecting. Hey, welcome back, Smurf. Glad you had a nice trip, dude. Great to hear. Okay, I'm going to take the mana. Okay, mana gain. These are all one damage except for copycat. Uh, copycat's not going to do anything here. True. So we might as well just use this here. And then give him the old harvest. I'm going to go for a balance here, although burst is tempting. I suppose I can burst and then balance. Do I want to withhold a full three mana for next turn, or do I want to do more damage this round? I think I want to do more damage this round. Let's go burst and then balance. Yo, awesome Smurf. Oh, congrats to her. Always nice to see your children achieve. I know all about that. Alright, he's mega petrified. Uh, I think since he's so petrified, I should actually end up taking the, uh, uh, the collector's ability to transform this into something useful. It does feel like we're kind of reaching a uh, DPS race territory. Oof. That's a good thing we have the leader here to replace those. Alright, so to begin, we're going to hit... These are hitting the statues. So I don't really care about those this turn. Here, we're going to harvest. both. If I burst, I can take down both bones here. That'll bring him right to the edge of the pip. That sounds good. Yo, FF7 is the one. Thanks for eight months. OST Bacon, thanks for 55. Storl, 72. Wintakis, thanks for 26. And Marlux here, thanks for 53 months. Thank you. On another note here, I don't really care if the statue gets hit. The statue getting hit is very marginal. So I may want to just set up the uh, the kill next round with harvest. I think that actually sounds better.
Alright, two summon incoming. Yoinks badoinks. I see they're both hitting collector and both these will die this turn. take the damage. Nice cantrip. Harvest. Okay, we got the kill this round. Very nice. And kill off the bones with these, and then we'll just burst the lich the rest of the way down. That was a nice fight. Blinding Bolt. After a spell is cast, self-shield 2. Change the middle column, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1. Pretty good here. Pretty good here, too. Three weekends also pretty ridiculous. Blindfold overrides the minus one. Remove all keywords from the middle row. You're right. You're right. Okay. Thanks for that observation. That's a good one. Gotta do it this way though, right? No, this is different. This is, removes keywords. This is uh, not a keyword effect. Still fine. Let's do it this way. No problem there on the misunderstanding. Sharing is caring. We're all here to play and learn together after all. Wow, look at the statue's health this turn. Damn. Well, I can take out the Knoll this turn, which I probably should. Well, I'll need to get a Mana, though, to make that work. Huh. I don't think two weekends gonna be wrong. I'm gonna lock this in and roll. Okay. Okay, there's the kill on the knoll. That's fortunate. Alright, so we're gonna go two damage. Two damage. Harvest. I think at a uh, six mana here, I should probably proc the ethereal on both the ghosts and then save the ninja with burst. Uh, additionally, I could balance to save the ninja and then burst and hit to proc the ethereals. No, balance isn't going to work because so he doesn't have anything to heal. Yeah, that's a good point here. That's a good point. If we do the uh, collector first and then the ninja, we get self shield. Thank you. Very true.
I goof that. This one. And then burst and burst and we'll hold two. Yeah, to go over a backseat game policy, you're more than welcome to make suggestions or point out things that we missed. I'll just tell you from my personal perspective, having streamed for 11 years, I'm not interested in the kind of interaction where I'm being guided step by step with the correct choices for each are for each turn. So uh, you're more than welcome to communicate in that fashion. I'm just not going to be getting herky jerky back and forth over people's suggestions. If you want to point out something I could have optimized better or a better turn order or explain a mechanic, that's all very helpful. Uh, if you also just point out stuff that's wrong or state the correct play, that's fine too. Just uh, from my uh, from my interactions, I'm not like looking at chat, expecting to read the right play and then trying to do it. I'm just playing the game. We'll say everybody's communicated very uh, respectfully today. It's all good. Only thing you may ever get in a little bit of trouble for here is if you're being a little bit overly intense or demanding with your suggestions. And even then, I very much appreciate uh, and understand your desire to help. In short, uh, all help is appreciated. But if your expectation is that I'm going to be following your, your guide, more or less, you're probably going to have a bad time. I'll take the mana. Oh no, it's a bad day to be detected, Pinpin. -pin. Okay, I'm going to take the range damage here. I'm also going to take this damage for growth. And then do one more roll. We'll give a pretty solid turn here. Okay, I want this because I can get growth on it too. Cool. Okay, two, four, six, seven. I could actually kill the alpha before it summons the wolf this turn. Oh my god, Daisy's even warmer than she was before. My cat's melting in the window, guys. Yo, Yasha, thanks so much for that prime sub. Appreciate that. Appreciate you making it official. Okay, is there a way for me to do both? Can I take out one ghost and take out the alpha? I think this is actually possible. Let's just count up our damage real quick. We have two, four, six, seven, nine, eleven damage. We can also use harvest for an additional. So I have 13 damage in total. Uh, so we have three, eight. Oh, yeah, we're killing the alpha and one of the ghosts here. Easy. So we'll use, uh, just for good turn order, we're going to use the uh, growth one first, so we can get growth on this one for the copycat. Uh, we're going to go two here. One more. We're going to harvest. And then we can uh, double burst here, saving the collector. Yeah, later, ghost. Be spoopy somewhere else, would ya? Okay, Twin. Honestly, Twin with uh, these items here is, like, pretty good. Because then we basically get two versions of this. They have much less HP, but we have a lot of cantrip rolls. I think Twin is going to be my replacement here. Uh, I also like Ludus, but this character is set up quite well, too. I'm not sure, Scully. It probably tells you there's no downside to letting him run, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'll try Twin here. This sounds very interesting to me. 
So we go uh, Twin Daggers here for Cantrip, and I think we go here for the reroll Cantrip as well. Yo, nice cast off. There will definitely be more coming. True, ninja item could work instead of the reroll. We'll think about that. Okay, double, double damage sounds good. All right, if I take this uh, weaken on the ghast. If I take the weaken on the ghast, I can uh, stop the basilisk from poisoning us at all. Also, this on hit passive can be destroyed with the collector. This is a really optimal opening roll. Yeah, Basilisk is the uh, the counter to cantrips. It's true. Oh, I can't get the double attack here. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, well, we'll stop the poison from happening. It's going to turn it to stone instead. Mm, four heals not so good. I could do cleanse here. This avoids the on hit effect. I am semi tempted to roll again with the collector. If I can get this uh, one damage duplicate, could be nice. Okay, this avoids on hit though. Let's just take it. That's fine. Yo, five mana, but no death because we have blindfold. Yo, nice. Okay, five mana. Okay, two here. We get another mana. Um. I'm going to go for balance and then harvest him. Let's go ahead and do one more burst here because I don't want to drop the... I don't want to drop a mana. Okay, avoids on hit again. Two more mana. Two more mana. That's the kill right there. Hello. Replace the middle column with four damage. That might just be better than this cantrip setup. Okay, cauldron, add right and plus one to the middle side. Right, plus one for each unused ally they skip this turn. Now, broadsword sounds pretty nice. I mean, on twin, that gives us six sides of four damage. I'm taking broadsword. Let's adjust our trinkets now. It's going to give us significantly less rerolls. I think I'm all right with that.
feel like I'm a lot less likely to use the duplicate here, so I'm kind of tempted to prop that in. What's this? Uh, I think I want copycats still. I'm gonna put this here. Heal five. Could also choose to like do this. Let's give us less mana gain overall, but huge damage on the druid. And then we can stick with this uh, setup. I like having two characters with one reroll side since we have minus one reroll to begin with. This cat today is too much, man. We went from being too hot in one window to way too hot in the other window. What a good day to be a kidders. I'm going to give this a go. For this particular fight, the four damage on the twins might have been a little better. Okay, copycat. I can get copycat cleave here. That's interesting. If I don't kill these snakes, we're in huge trouble. Let's try Copycat Cleave to begin. Okay, we got the reroll, thank goodness. I think the two damage on Ghast is good. Okay. No mana gain. Tough. I could also choose to go weaken on this to hit the snakes down and weaken them. Hmm. I think I like uh, this better. Blaze McGee, thanks for 32 months. Appreciate that continuation. Okay, double, double damage kills one sniper. This kills another sniper. This kills the other sniper. Okay, we're good. Cleared. Pretty nice breakpoints there. Also, heal with mana gain and rescue. Okay, I think I'm going to take profit here. And then we're going to adjust our trinkets again. We're going to put broadsword back on twin here. Like this. I'm just going to avoid the cantrips altogether for the moment. Oh, hey, if this is minus one, plus one, I I might as well uh, put the stone here. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, like that. There it is. 
So what's the skill I lose off of that? I lose dodge. Okay. Okay, well, there's two spiders down. That's got to be right. All right, this gains keyword. I'll do, I'll do keyword mana gain here. Yes, this would have been a good fight for the ninja to have dodge, because we could have maybe avoided the damage here. You're right. Heal one to all allies and Regin? I'm semi-tempted just to cast that here. I think I will, because Regin stacks. Here you go, uh, Brian the Saiyan. You get uh, each I.O. You buy it there, you can also get a token to install it on your Android device. I'm sure this game will eventually come to uh, Steam as well, but there's a link for it. Uh, okay, there's one spider down. Two heal, two mana gain seems pretty valuable. Okay, this is also a mana gain again. And another spider kill. We can hit Tarantus here to weaken him. Very nice. Okay, we got a cleave. Well, in that case, I think I'm actually going to use on Cleave instead of Monogain. Yeah, okay. Now let me think about this for a second. Like, I have enough to just dunk the spiders right now. I think that's going to be actually a little bit better. Because if I if I choose the mana gain, I can soothe again, then we have Regin 2. That should put us very nicely um, stable in the fight. We can also knock his weaken down to 1 with this. Uh, an additional option here would be to add Weaken and remove Tarantus's Weaken altogether, so no Weaken happens. I'm kind of liking the Soothe 2 happening, though. Okay, so we'll go uh, Mana Gain 2. Mana Gain 2. Hit... Hit here. Weaken Tarantus. Soothe again. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, Stun on suggests that we could possibly get um, get Tarantus down to the pip where he only has ten, and then our combined HP could possibly make it so he runs away. I don't think we have enough HP in total. Let's see, 6. Uh, this is 9, 15, 19, 23, 31. Yeah, we don't have quite enough HP to make him run. I like that idea, though. Bosses definitely do run away if they're low enough HP, yeah definitely do. <laughs> I 
he can guess where this is going. I'll take this leftover as well. I had a lich run yesterday. Okay, this is quite nice. We can get a harvest off here at minimum. Wow, sick. All right, so we're gonna hit with a cleave here. We're going to hit with a cleave here. We're gonna harvest the spider. We can get five mana without dying, because we have blindfold. Awesome. Just a casual uh, 10 mana. All right, I'm gonna burst, then I'm gonna soothe. Well, bottom line here is Ninja's dying this round because we're gonna get past this pip, but he's gonna devour. That's fair. Uh, I'll just take the focus here. It's a lot of damage. Sushi. Replace the left side with gain two rerolls cantrip. Okay, singularity. Improve the two right sides. Two right sides on collector could be I. I also think sushi looks pretty good. Oh, hey, sushi on the twin. Easy. Easy twin sushi. Pretty nasty fight here. At least we have the possibility of four damage hits on the zombies. Pretty brutal, man. Right, let's just roll it again and see what happens. Okay, here's one zombie down. Five mana, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Feels like uh, four damage here isn't bad either. Yeah. Three damage. If only I could boost that up a little bit. Do you have anything better than that? I don't want to exert next round either. Okay, there's the other four damage. Nice. Focus will do. This would bring us to seven mana. Seems pretty good. Well, I think regardless of result here on the Fanatics, uh, taking out the two zombies with a four damage hit each isn't going to be wrong. Get mana here. Mana here. We've got seven. They all have the same HP. If I wanted to kill one, who would it be? It'd be the one that's going to kill the twin. Okay, this leaves them with two, four, six, seven. Wow, I can exactly kill the fanatic here. What a stupendous opener.
All right, with only two characters dying here and the Fanatics injuring themselves on hit. Healing two here brings him to a threshold. Hitting with this will save one of the two characters. And then we also gain mana to double burst here to save them. So we'll just take this for now. Might as well take the four damage hit while we're at it. Though we've uh, essentially solved this round. Oh yeah. We good. Yeah, dragon's really tough. Fish. Tough one. Uh, I think this is my time to swap to sharpshoot here. I'm loving the ninja, but uh, we got Wiz on the board, and having a ranged ability would be monumentally helpful. Sharp shot it is. Let's check the inventory here real quick. Change the middle column. Yeah, okay. Still good. Just let's do it this way again. What was the thing I gave up here? Ooh, copycat range. That's kind of hard to give up. Let's uh let's let's bank this for now. Okay, there's four units being summoned here. A okay, five mana ain't gonna be wrong. Good luck to me. That was incredibly lucky. Holy guacamole, what a roll. Okay, this is execute an enemy with five or less health. Get out of here, Wiz. I mean, I would say this roll was basically optimal. Wait, hold on. What was that? Oh, on hit six damage return. Yikers. Is there a different way then? Mm. I can uh, double burst here and then hit with the collector. Yeah, we want to drop this with magic, exactly. Okay, we'll do this. You've been bippity boppin'. Oh, well, that opener was disgusting. All right, this kills the imp. He's summoning another imp, that's fortunate for us. This on hit. Okay, on hit six damage. We can also chip this with ranged. Let's go for a mana gain on the ranged hit here. Weaken. Doesn't matter on this round. The blue bow copycats the previous use modifier. So, like when I go mana gain here, uh, the ranged hit will now do. Monogain. Okay, let's take out the imp. Hit him with the slaps. Go ranged. Monogain heal. Okay, iron crown. Gray heroes only, plus four to the left side. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, if I was going to drop uh, drop this here, we could have a six reroll. Iron Crown. Goblet of Life, also crazy good. Leave, self-heal, self-shield. 
probably putting that on the profit. Or maybe on the collector, in fact. Oh, excuse me. Pickups. Plus four to the left side being nine mana, too, is pretty ridiculous. I don't know, nine mana and a chance is pretty tempting. Goblet of Life potentially does uh, a stat value of 24, though. Yeah, this one's great. Great only, that's right. Okay, Goblet time. We're going to put it on the Collector here. Set up the Garnet. Okay. What's the deal on this one? Infuse plus one mana. All right. Well, this four hit plus a... Plus harvest on the wisp is good. That'll also get net us four mana. So I could technically take out one of the... One of the Hydras this turn. Okay, four damage hits, not going to be wrong. We can also nearly save the profit, but five mana would allow us to kill Hydra real good. Let's roll here. Okay, Goblet of Life. I'll take the four hit again. That ain't it. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Four hit. Harvest. Okay, we have eight. So that's four hits we can do on a single Hydra. Uh, we want to hit the one that is hitting the twin here. Actually, I need to do three. Then we can do this. Five hits in a single turn kills the Hydra. And then we'll do here. Okay, I didn't quite do it. All right, this is two hits. Three, four, five. We're good. Flick Pain could be nice here. Also, Era, I think we take Wanderer and still give him the Goblet. We can also, uh, we could replace the Ghast Blindfold here on Barbarian, because this would make these damagers... Uh, quite nutty. The downside to this that I see is that uh, we have Mana Burn and also Pain Mirror. So the, hitting this hard with the Barbarian still causes us pain. That's asking a bit much. I also think Twin's getting wrecked in this fight. He 
Yeah, we're gonna go for Wanderer here. And I'm still gonna give the Wanderer the Goblet. Okay, good luck to me. Oh, I don't have the peanut equipped. Okay. It's pretty great, Silver Shot. I'll say one guarantee for me is I will only play games I enjoy and recommend on the broadcast. That is my guarantee to you. Okay, how much damage to the bottom hero? Whenever mana is spent, deal that much damage to the bottom hero. Like, I'd love to get some regeneration going here. I can also add era. So if I add era to this, this range, does that persist for multiple rounds, or does that stop there? This is definitely a temptation. Plus one for this era. That would make sense. All right, I'm going to roll again then. Not bad. Oh, hey. Well, to begin, let's take out all three of the uh, imps here. Really nice opener. Okay, um, do I keep gas alive like this? I do. All right, so for starters, I'm going to go for, um, Soothe. Then I'm going to heal the ghast and gain mana. Uh, I'm going to block on the sharpshooter. Does hurt there. We got Regin out. And then we can do inflict pain on Hexia here. Almost dead, but almost doesn't count. I think that was a really nice opener. Okay, what is this ability here? This is summon a demon. All right. This sign can be used again if it saves a hero. Certainly not adverse to... that. Let's go ahead and grab the five mana again. I think I'm going to grab this heal for the ghast, and I'm going to know that the ranged hit can hit uh, Hexia and not have return damage. It's on hit, so range doesn't count. I'm actually also not adverse to taking the shields here on the twins. I can't hit Hexia without killing the twin, so I kind of want to save their attacks for the um, the summons. Okay, this has pain as well. You're right. It's tough. I might not use this then. We'll see. Still going to leave it there. Okay, let's go for the mana. I'm going to go for uh, regeneration again. So we have regeneration two now. Oh, 
Let's block on the sharp shot. And I, I still think getting this damage out is going to be good. I'm going to go for the heal on the ghast because anytime we use mana, the ghast is taking damage. I think I might be sacking the twin here. Not going to get better than five mana on gas. I would love to see the heal three saves hero one. Though this does save a hero right now. True. How much health does the demon have? The demon has 12 health. I think this shot looks good. The chalice would also be ridiculous. I think I should save up and try to roll chalice. That would save us, more or less. Okay, this hit on the demon. We got two more rerolls. Awesome. Got a good chance of finding what we need here. Haha, <laughs> keep them coming. Well, 4-4 four, four, and 4 does kill the demon. Which saves the twin. saves the twin, the heal saves the wanderer. And I suppose I could save the uh, sharp shot with triple burst here is an option. Well, let's say at a minimum I'm taking this. I'm going to do another roll here. Uh, getting a little bit low. So much to the point that it might be best to just take this. No. I'm going to take this and hope we get Chalice. Okay, we did not get Chalice. Fair enough. Can still save everybody here, at least. Okay, four. Ranged four to stop the unhit. Four here on the demon. Saved. We're going to heal the Wanderer. And then we're going to burn up here. Okay, we stayed alive. I also don't want to kill the twin just yet. I think they still have some value. Wanderer rolling into Chalice would have been a lot nicer for sure. What does this one do? Petrify. Transforms Foresight. Okay, uh, this has pain on it, so it's pretty tough to use this turn.
I like the idea of hitting for weaken two here to stop some petrifying. So let's take that in. Let's take the heal because it does save the uh, wanderer this turn. It's tough, dude. The rerolls just keep coming. How much HP is left here? Eh. Ooh. Pain and cantrip. Yikes. All right, four, eight, 13, 15. We have the kill. Eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Actually, hold on. What does this read? Kill an enemy with five or less HP. Am I going to make it to that? Yeah, so we have 10 right here. The twins will have to die to make it happen, but that's fine. Get roasted. Well, that was our first hard mode victory. Feels nice, man. Enjoyed that one. Uh, I think the ghast with the blindfold was a hard carry. I don't know how many times we got the five mana, but like a dozen or so. And that was really carrying us pretty hard in the mid game. All right, let me get caught up here. Argusberg, thanks for 42 months. Been an awesome time. Thank you. River Eagles triple nine. Thanks for 94 months as well. Yep. Orange with the copycat was really strong too. I agree. Chalice didn't really see much use. I think the real hero of this run though is the twin with the broadsword. These four damage hits uh, multiple times simplified the opening to a lot of fights. Yes, we could have saved the twins there with the Goblet of Life, but as long as the boss dies, it counts to victory regardless. So there's no bonus to um, keeping more characters alive as the last floor. Prophet never actually used heal to rescue a character, but uh, Soothe was very, very good. Hey, way too intense. Thanks so much for five months. Appreciate that continuation. All right, everybody, bit of a shorty today. Apologies for that. I have a really busy uh, afternoon, evening ahead of me. I'll probably catch you guys for a bonus stream on this next set of days off. Um, but Discord, as always, for updates after that. I'll be back, I'll be back to our normalized uh, schedule starting next week on Friday. Uh, thanks for your patience. It's been a very busy couple weeks for me. I uh, hope you've had a nice time. Really enjoying checking out Slice and Dice. We'll be back and at it again soon for some more fun. Appreciate you all very much. Thanks for your questions, comments, conversation, and all of the mechanics discussion for this game. Appreciate all the help learning all of the ins and outs of Slice and Dice here. And we'll be back at it for some more fun soon. Until then, keep it dapper and be good to each other. Take it easy, everybody.